And moving on, the Corzine administration wants that greenhouse gas emissions cut by 80 percent by the year 2050. The road to that goal depends in part on an overarching plan the administration wants to put into effect. At a meeting today, the focus was on transportation. Environment correspondent Ed Rogers has that story. Cars, trucks, buses, trains, planes and boats are the largest source of carbon dioxide emissions in New Jersey. Reducing those emissions under the new law could be complicated. At a meeting today, the state DEP took testimony from stakeholders in the process. Business groups support the ideas of flex time and telecommuting, but do have some concerns. Obviously, we don't want to see a mandated employer trip reduction come back, but I think working closely with the business community to offer flexible time so we don't have the congestion on our roadways is something that's viable, as long as it's not uh, mandated. Environmentalists and smart growth advocates support many of the ideas, such as investing in New Jersey Transit's infrastructure and completion of a new Trans-Hudson River rail tunnel. Direct one-seat access to Manhattan for about seven extra lines and NHA Transit, which really encourages people to use the, um, the, take the train to work instead of uh, getting in their car and clogging up our roads, creating the greenhouse gases. The administration's plan also calls for implementing the so-called California Low Emission Vehicle Program in New Jersey. The Bush administration would not sign a waiver for states that wanted to require the stricter tailpipe emissions. The plan also calls for developing clean energy corridors. The idea is to provide stations along the Turnpike and Garden State Parkway where electric cars could recharge. Automobile retailers say motorists need more incentives to buy hybrids and electric cars. Waivers, no waivers, frankly it doesn't matter. What really matters is where the rubber meets the road. Are consumers buying these vehicles? And uh, right now they're not. Uh, and when and how can we incent them to buy enough of these vehicles so that we can achieve these uh, aggressive goals? Environmentalists are calling on the incoming Obama administration to grant 13 states the waiver for the tougher emission standards. Supporters also say investing in the green infrastructure will be key in reaching those emission reductions. We have to be moving towards zero emission vehicles and I think that's exactly right. You know, I think no matter how much we plan, we also have to make sure that people have clean cars that literally emit no pollution. And we can do that. The technology is coming, but we have to plan for it. The DEP will take public input on Wednesday and Friday on the greenhouse gas plan. A final strategy will be sent to the governor and the legislature in early spring. Ed Rogers, NJN News, Trenton.